Let's continue with question 22a part 2. Solve by factorizing 2x squared plus 15x minus 50 equals 0. We just proved this in part 1 and now we have to solve it by factorization. So only using factorization method will give you marks. You cannot use quadratic formula or completing the square. So in this case, we'll be splitting this into two brackets since it's a quadratic and one bracket will have 2x, the other one will have x. And these two will be some constants given over here. How do we find these constants? So we know that a is equal to 2, b is equal to 15, c is equal to negative 50 in this quadratic expression. So ac is equal to negative 100 here, right? And b is equal to 15. So let's find two numbers that add up to 15 and multiply to negative 100. So here they will be 20 and negative 5. So these two numbers are 20 and negative 5. Out of these, which one is divisible by 2? 20 is divisible by 2, right? So we just do 20 by 2 and we have 10. So we write 10 over here and the other value negative 5 we write next to 2x. And therefore, we have a factorization. If you expand it out, we'll see that this makes 15x, the outside multiplied and then inside multiplied, we get 20x minus 5x, which is 15x, correct? And minus 5 times 10 is minus 50, which is also correct. So when this is equal to 0, we can solve for x. So x is equal to 5 by 2, or x is equal to negative 10. And that'll be our answer. Let's go to part 3. Find your length ac. So length ac is just x plus 5 plus 7.5. And we know the x value because x is 5 by 2. Why can x be negative 10? Of course, it's simply because x plus 5 has to be a positive value since it is length. But if x is equal to 10, then this will be negative 5, but length cannot be negative 5. So we just discount this. It's only x equals 5 by 2. Now we can substitute that here. So we know that x is equal to 5 by 2 and therefore 5 by 2 plus 5 plus 7.5 is equal to ac. And therefore, that's equal to 15 centimeters, and that'll be our answer.